So welcome to the Crystal Bowl Meditation done by uh, Gentle Bear Healing, which is my uh, healing business. The Crystal Bowls, I know they look solid and like just a, a mineral, a crystal. But you're about to experience how they actually talk to your soul. How there actually is an exchange of energy, an exchange of blessing. How do I want to word it? I, I could do it in a multitude of ways, but I'm telling you, you are about to have an experience. Over the, the last while, I've heard many people describe it in many ways. Some people get hot. Some people get cold. Some people feel pain as it leaves their body. But it isn't an awful pain. There's actually a sense of satisfaction and brightness in the fact that it's leaving. Some people see things. Some people smell. Whatever experience you have will be the right experience for you. And though it's fun to hear about other people's experiences, know that what you need will arrive. And I have prepared that for you. And I've also asked what the theme of our evening is. So we are talking this evening about satisfaction. It is never selfish or too picky to want to be satisfied. Any part of you that thinks as soon as you make a choice that's good for you and is not necessarily the top choice for someone else calls themselves selfish, I think you need to rethink that one. I work from the philosophy and that you first fill yourself up. You first make choices that fill here, and then with the beautiful overflow, it generously moves to other people. And any time something you want to do for something, you are not doing it because you're certain you'll be called selfish. You're not in the right frame of heart to be giving a generous gift. And it would be a good time to detach from the world and do something that builds yourself up. I know that this happens with men, but boy, do I know this happens with women. I don't know if we were taught from birth, programmed, but we all believe that the more we do and just give everything, the better we're doing. And I would like to challenge that view. Give what you value in a way that you value. Give a way that respects yourself and the other, and then watch to see how you feel and how you should feel if this harmony or balance is at play is really, really satisfied. You should be thinking that, oh, that is so awesome. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I really like what I learned. Oh, I won't ever fall in that hole again. I really get it now. You should have that kind of satisfaction from it. And I call this kind of satisfaction being in the flow. The universe wants to teach you something. It does not want to go bang, bang, bang. It would love it to be smooth and easy and straightforward. And if you're in a good frame of heart in which you're respecting yourself, you'll be in this flow. Have you had this experience? possibly after meditating. You finish your meditation and the answer to something that is really being stuck in you just appears. You all of a sudden actually know how you feel. Oh, I really am angry. I am realized. And then you can move from there to something that actually satisfied. So are you actually satisfied? It's really a good question to be asking yourself all the time. It's not being greedy or selfish or any of the other words that are often bandied around. It's getting yourself in the right frame of heart so you can follow your dreams. And when you follow your dreams, everyone is blessed around you. See, this is my dream. And you are about to be blessed with how I have, with awe and wonder, discovered what I find satisfying. It blesses me and it 
satisfies you. So you're going to experience it from my point of view with the bowls, and then you're going to recreate it in your life. Wouldn't that be a better life to live? One in which you're following your dreams and you're giving from your heart in a way that is good for you and good for the person you're serving and or sharing with and or connecting with, however you want to word it. Yet, when was the last time you thought or started a project that way? It probably wasn't anywhere in your radar. It probably never even occurred to you that you could be satisfied. Well, I would like you to open up that new page, if it is a new page for you, and allow the universe, or whatever other name you'd like to call it, Creator, God, and we could think of so many names, to actually satisfy. And believe me, once you've tasted things that satisfy, the things that are just not worth it, fall away. Because you're just not interested in it. They just don't make the grade. So that's why being satisfied is so important. It really gives you an idea of what you're searching for and what's possible. So here's to you being truly satisfied this evening. And I truly look forward to hearing you tell me.